Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is my September jigsaw puzzle haul. So these are all of the jigsaw puzzles I've bought in September. So there is one that's going to be missing because it hasn't arrived yet. I ordered it about a week ago from Amazon EU, a giant puzzle, but it hasn't come yet and it's now October. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feature that in October's haul, even though I got it in September, if that makes sense. So you will be seeing a giant one in that was supposed to be in this video, which will now be in October as a video. But anyway, so yeah, I apologize for the background. And I'm just filming in my grandma's guest room at the minute because that's where I keep my puzzles because my grandma has a lot more space and that's where I do most of my puzzles. So yeah, so just try and ignore the background as much as possible if you can. So let's just get straight into it. So like I said, these are all the puzzles I bought in September. Um, they're in no particular order, not in like order of when I bought them, they're just in whatever order I just grab them and put them in the pile. So the first one is a Ravensburger. This is the Ravensburger um, animal one, the wild animals. Um, so this one has one, well, one or two animals from every letter of the alphabet, starting at A up here and then going all the way around, sort of like zigzagging all the way down to Z. And I thought that was really cool. And um, this was on... I actually got this from the Ravensburger outlet in York, in the UK. Um, I live about a half hour drive from there, so yeah, I go quite regular to look at puzzles there. And with it being an outlet, they always have things discounted, like um, things that are getting discontinued or things that are just generally on sale. So this one was on, on offer for two jigsaws for £10. And it was marked at something like £9.50 for just this one or two for £10. So yeah, that's where I get most of my jigsaw, well, Ravensburger jigsaws from, is the outlet. I have got a video showing you the Ravensburger outlet in York. Um, that video is already uploaded if you want to go check that out, if you want to see what that store looks like. But yeah, um, I have done this one already. I quite enjoyed it. I thought it was quite easy. The edges I found quite hard because they were mainly like this creamy beige colour. But yeah, the rest of it I really enjoyed because obviously all the animals are different colours. It was really easy to spot them. So yeah, really good that one. So next was the other one that I got on the offer with that one. This is another Ravensburger Disney. It's one of the Disney collector collector's editions one from you know like one of the one of the movies. So this is 101 Dalmatians. Elodie kept asking for that one. Yeah, it says um, 1961 in silver when the original movie came out, and then it says collector's edition under there. Um, this one's still shrink wrapped. We haven't got to this one yet, but I was also in the two for ten pound offer at Ravensburger. In York, so Elodie asked if we could have that one. But yeah, I will do a review on Instagram with that one when we do eventually get around to doing it. So another one. This I absolutely love. This one. This is my Ravensburger Panorama 2000 piece world puzzle. I absolutely love this one. I got this for my birthday. This was again from the outlet. I'll just bring it a little bit forward so you can see the picture. Yeah, really awesome picture. So yeah, this one was from the outlet as well, I think. This one was only £12. I could not believe how amazingly cheap that was for a 2000 uh, I have done this one. If you want to go check this out on our Instagram, I have done this one. And there is a picture of Elodie, my three-year-old, laying on it like from like, across this way to show you how long the jigsaw puzzle is. It's amazing when it's finished. But, yeah, definitely recommend that one if you're wanting a large puzzle to do. Um, next one. This was also one of my birthday presents. This is the Ravensburger Pokemon Challenge Puzzle, the thousand piece. I absolutely love this one. Being a huge Pokemon fan from being about six years old, this puzzle, I just enjoyed it so much. I've only had it since the first weekend in September and I think I've done it three times already. I just cannot get enough of it. I absolutely love it. Next one is another Ravensburger Challenge one which I got off Amazon just um, a couple of weeks ago, the glitter one. I love this one as well, but this one was definitely, definitely a challenge. I think this is the hardest thousand piece I think I've ever done. I think I timed it and I have done a YouTube video on it if you guys want to check that out. Um, but yeah, um, I think this took me just over six hours to complete. I, it was so, I mean, I enjoyed doing it. I really did, but it was just so hard. I thought it was going to be much easier with all the different colours, but yeah really 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 difficult definitely a challenge but what i absolutely love about this one is the pieces have actual glitter on them it's not just a picture of glitter they actually have real glitter on the pieces um yeah go have a look at the youtube video if you want to see a bit more about that one 
So uh, next one is my Squishmallow puzzle. <laughs> I thought this one was hilarious when I saw it. And Elodie, my three-year-old, loves Squishmallows. We have about five or six of them. And when I saw this, I was like, we have to have this because some of the Squishmallows are, that are on it are ones that we have. So I thought, oh, this is so cool. And like the picture repeats, so it's like I thought it'd be a bit challenging. But yeah, we've um, yeah, I did this one, and it didn't take that long. To be fair, I thought this one was gonna take a lot longer than it actually did, because of like the repeating pattern. But because there's so many colours, and each squishmallow stands out from all the others, it was actually quite easy, and I actually really enjoyed doing this one. Again, this one's on our Instagram completed. If you want to go check that out. Um, last one of the Ravensburger ones is the Pokemon fifteen hundred. So. I really enjoyed doing the Pokemon challenge one, so I decided, right, I want another Pokemon one. And I found out that Ravensburger did this one, so I went ahead and bought this one, the 1500. Again, be, obviously being a huge Pokemon fan, I absolutely love this one. I could literally just do this one repeat every day and probably still never get bored of it. So I think my next jigsaw puzzle is probably going to have to be the Pokemon 5000 by Ravensburger. I have noticed as well that Buffalo Games do a lot of Pokemon jigsaw puzzles that they're all in my eBay basket at the minute. So I'm just waiting till I've got the money to be able to buy them and they range from like a thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand pieces. So I cannot wait to build my collection of Pokemon jigsaws. But so far I've only got the two. Elodie has a hundred piece one as well, which I will show you in another video. I get I think I'm gonna do like um, a video just based on like Pokemon jigsaws because I think that'd be really good for the Pokemon fans out there. Maybe what I might do is I might do all of my Pokemon jigsaws and then lay them all out together and like have them all done all on the flight like, all on the floor together i think that'll look amazing so yeah love that one again so that's it for the ravensburger ones now these next three that i'm going to show you are ones that i got off ebay recently if anyone remembers back in the 90s um, a company called puzz 3d that did those big 3d jigsaw puzzles that were made out of foam I had a few of these growing up and they ended up, some of them ended up getting thrown away, some ended up getting donated when I was younger and I'm like, I really miss doing these puzzles. So I thought, I'm going to have a look on eBay and see if I can find some. Anyway, I did. Um, some of my Puzz 3Ds I still have, um, which I'll show you in another video. I'll do like a Puzz 3D collection video, but these ones I bought in September. So, so yeah, um, I found a seller on eBay that had quite a big collection of them and they were only five miles away from where i lived so i thought you know what i'm just going to collect them and i got all three for less than 10 pounds so got this one this is the miniature one this is the leaning tower of pisa all the boxes are in bad shape but we can easily fix those yeah so plus 3d the leaning tower of pisa that's the miniature one from i think they did like um like quite large ones then they did like a set of miniature ones this is a miniature one um i also got the church building none of these well i've done the pisa one i did the pisa one this morning just to check it out to see what kind of condition it was in they're not in the best of condition but they're in good enough condition that i can easily do them repeatedly um, none of the pieces are damaged and none of the pieces are missing so that's a good thing so yeah the church one this one actually looks like the one that's in the best condition out of all the three that i got the box is actually quite good condition but yeah the church one so i can't wait to do that one so yeah, you will see all these on our Instagram as well. Every time I complete a puzzle, I will put it straight on Instagram so you guys can see it. And then the last one for today is the third Puzz 3D I got off eBay. I think it's, I think this one is called Medieval Castle, I think. Yeah, Medieval Castle. That's the 700 piece. This actually looks like it's going to be quite big when I finished it, so I can't wait to get started with that one. So I have to bring it backwards so you can see the whole thing. So yeah, that is my puzzle collection for September. We're a couple of days into October now and I've already bought a few ready for October. So there's already, like, I've already got planned like my October video and then I've already decided like what videos I'm going to do next and what puzzles, like weird puzzles from like years ago that I've had for decades that I want to show you. So yeah, I can't wait in to get into all these amazing puzzle videos for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed um any puzzles that you've seen or that you're interested in just drop me a comment and just any questions about any of them just just drop me a comment and let me know um or if you've done any of them and you want to let me know like what what your opinion is just like i said just drop me a comment and let me know and thank you for watching everyone hope you enjoyed